Hello, and welcome to the HMIS at NCCEH Introduction to HMIS Data Standards Training. My name is Andrea Carey, and I am a System Administrator for the North Carolina Coalition to End Homelessness Data Center, the HMIS lead organization for our region. The data standards training is required for all HMIS at NCCEH users, regardless of project type and funding source. Non-HMIS staff at these agencies and victim service providers are encouraged to complete this training since it covers in-depth data collection. We will cover several main topics during this webinar. Why we value standardized data collection, what to do if a response is missing, and what is required to collect. First, we will discuss some HMIS background information. What is HMIS? A Homeless Management Information System, or HMIS, is the data system used to record and analyze service and housing data for individuals and families who are experiencing homelessness or are at risk of homelessness. Local continuums of care decide which HMIS system to use to comply with federal regulation. HMIS data can help us understand who we are serving better, which also debunks myths and stereotypes. Too often, homeless people are viewed as lazy and unmotivated. This chart is from the 2017 Federal Fiscal Year NC Balance Estate COC. You can see that almost half have some sort of income, especially disability income. HMIS also provides data across the country. Collecting accurate data consistently also allows us to contribute to the national perspective. Here is the most recent data from the Annual Homeless Assessment Report, or AHAR, delivered to Congress every year. Notice that North Carolina has a little over 2% of people experiencing homelessness in a year, while 50% are in just five states, Washington, California, Texas, Florida, and New York. HMIS made this data possible. So what is required to get us this data? HMIS is powerful because across the country, communities follow HUD's HMIS data standards and data dictionary. These are the tools that we have used to create today's training. All agencies participating in HMIS must follow these basic standards. That way we can compare apples to apples, not apples to oranges. Data elements, or the questions you ask clients, that are required to depend on project type, funding sources, and which continuums of care are involved. Our training contains data elements required by all HMIS participating agencies in the HMIS at NCCEH implementation, including the Balance of State, Durham, and Orange COCs. Additional elements required by non-HUD funding sources may have additional training. Although many of us use HMIS because of federal regulation, I want to highlight that beyond regulation, there's so much more going on with community data. Data helps communities learn more about the characteristics of those who experience homelessness and understand what is working in their community and what is not. Data can help providers and stakeholders work towards their goals as they measure outputs, outcomes, and impacts. When we all contribute data consistently across our region, we learn more about our communities. The bottom line is that your data collection can have a huge impact. This concludes part one of the intro to HMIS data standards training.